three lottery picks will be showcasing their talent tonight in the NCAA men's title game. UConn center Donovan Klingon is third in ESPN's latest mock draft, while the big man counterpart Zach Eady is at the end of the lottery at 13th after his dominant tournament run. So now we say hello to our NBA draft analyst, Jonathan Gavoni. Jonathan, Zach Eady, currently 13th in your list of top 25 prospects to watch, which is a far cry from the conversations we were having last summer. How has this play throughout the tournament impacted how he may be drafted here? Malika, Zach Eady is one of the most dominant players in college basketball history. He's been a polarizing player for NBA scouts mm. all four years at Purdue, but he's really starting to grow on people. And there's an increasing faction of NBA teams who are asking themselves, could this guy end up being one of the five most impactful players in this draft? Uh, he's lighting up their analytic models, uh, just what he's doing from a productivity standpoint. We have to remember, he's only 21 years old. He's been playing basketball seriously for about six years now. Right. This guy has legitimate upside. We see what he's done with his body, his mobility. He's become a much better defender and passer. He might have to score 40 points tonight for Purdue to have a chance, but I wouldn't put it past him. Right. Since you mentioned Purdue's opponents, let's take a look at UConn because Donovan Klingon continues to just steadily rise up ESPN's draft board. Why is that? Malika, he started off the season with a lot of injuries. He had foot issues. Uh, he, he didn't look healthy. His conditioning wasn't great. But as the year has moved on, Donovan Klingon has gotten stronger and stronger. And he's played the best basketball of his career here in the NCAA tournament. What he did last week in the Elite Eight against Illinois was incredible. Uh, 22 points and 10 rebounds in 22 minutes. But it was really his defense that, you know, is starting to make NBA teams think, this guy could be another version of Rudy Gobert. Hmm. He plays incredibly hard. He's very mobile, stepping out to the perimeter. He's a multiple effort defender around the basket. And he's just impossible to score on with his 7-7 seven, seven wingspan. Well, scouts are going to get another opportunity to take a look at both of these guys tonight in the title game. Jonathan Gavoni, thank you so much for stopping by NBA Today. We're going to be seeing a whole lot of you as we march toward the draft in June. But